Hi, I'm Frank Spear. I want to welcome you to this blog. We're uh, going into part three of our uh, series on anterior temporization. And what I want to talk to you about today is actually how to get anterior temporaries to fit, or for that matter, any temporary to fit extremely well through the relining and then trimming of the margin. And just as an example of why I think fit is so important with a temporary is it really controls gingival health to a large extent. And I'm going to use a long-term temporary case to show you what I mean. This is a dental hygienist who's going to lose the le left lateral incisor. She has elected not to have an implant and instead is going to have a fixed bridge done. So what I proceeded to do was remove the old restorations, prepare them, packed retraction cord and actually made a silicone impression just like I would a final impression so I can make my temporary indirectly as we've been talking about. What I then did is I used a stone model and I cut the lateral incisor off and actually created my ovate pontic in the stone right up into the extraction site but because I had a very accurate impression and an accurate model I could make very very accurate fitting temporaries. And to me, getting a really good fitting temporary with a really nice finish and cleaning up cement correctly is how you get good tissue health. I can promise you not all of my patients have immaculate oral hygiene. Most of them do use some kind of a mechanical truth brush, but I believe if you make the temporaries fit well with a good surface finish um, and you teach that patient some oral hygiene skills, you can get excellent health at your seating appointment. Now in this case, we're not gonna have a seating appointment. We're really gonna take this tooth out and wait. And typically for an anterior tooth, I like to wait, believe it or not, nine to 12 months. So this temporary is gonna be on there a long time because we know in the first six months, there's at least 23, 24% shrinkage that occurs in that ridge, even if you graft it with almost anything. And so I'm fairly slow in terms of moving forward. So here's my temporary that was finished using the techniques I'm going to show you in just a minute as far as relining margins. Here it is 12 months later. And in this case, it didn't even come loose the whole time. It was actually cemented with caulk final, which is a reinforced ZOE cement that retains temporaries very nicely. We take it off, and this is what I wanted you to see. It hasn't been off in 12 months, but take a look at the tissue health around the cuspid, the centrals, the lateral incisor, and also the bottom of the pontic has healed very nicely because all of them were finished very smoothly, but they also fit very well. Now, in previous sessions, we've talked about how to make the, the temporary indirectly, either on a stone model or a Mach 2 model. Now let me just show you some trimming tips. And I trim most of my stuff at this site in our laboratory, but I also do have a trimming station uh, in my chair side where I can pull out a vacuum drawer. I really prefer to do it not with the patient there if it's an anterior temporary where I really want to put some time in it. And if you're not making the temporary, it's the same for your assistants. They really need a space where they can sit down and, and have suction and an electric handpiece to work with. Now, before I start trimming, the first thing I'm going to do is put the temporary in alcohol because it removes that oxygen inhibited slimy layer on the surface. As far as trimming the facial and lingual margins, which are what we're going to do in this particular segment, I'm going to use this particular flame shaped burr. It's part of a kit that Brassler sells, which is a spear education provisional kit. And so let's go ahead and we'll work right into some videos. We've now got the temporary, we've removed the copy plast from it. It goes in the alcohol, ah, five or 10 seconds is plenty. Typically I'll use a disc to get the gross amount off because it's fairly gentle. This is a 911H, it's a double-sided diamond disc. So I'm just taking off any excess flashing that's real obvious. Um, the, the burrs tend to chatter more than the disc does, so that's why I use the disc. Now, I'm going to do a very rapid kind of gross trim of the facial and lingual, but I do like to mark the margins the best I can using a red wax pencil. But in truth, when you do your first bulk fabrication of your temporary, the materials do shrink and your margins may really not fit as well as you would like. Once I've got them marked, I'll use that flame shaped burr. And as I said, I'll kind of just gross trim everything because what I'm really going to do is I'm going to reline the margins right on that model. You could do it in the mouth as well if you want, but since you have a very nice model to work on, I'm going to go ahead and do it directly on the model. 
So using the flame shape burr to do the facial, the lingual, and go into the interproximal. And then once I get it to this point where the facial and lingual is really looking pretty good, now I want to make the margin fit well before I final trim all the embrasures. I'll air braid it with 50 micron aluminum oxide, paint some adhesive on it, and then we'll use flowable composite, just like we're injecting syringe material for an impression. We inject it on the margin of the model and then seat the temporary on it. You don't ever want to inject into the temporary and try and seat it. You'll never get it to place. So this is what it looks like. We now go ahead, it's air abraded. You paint some adhesive, any kind of light cured adhesive is fine. There's the flowable being injected, a small amount right along the margins. Seat the temporary on it. It compresses the flowable against the margin. If you want to change any contour, you can do it with just a little more flowable and just a paintbrush. And then we'll go ahead and light cure that. And now we'll map, go back through, put it back in the alcohol, mark it with the red pencil, but this time you'll really be able to mark the margins very well because they're captured very well. And so there it is, ready to now go back in the alcohol to get that shiny, slimy layer off. And now it's really nice because you've got a nice extension past the margin, so you can get a really nice, distinct line. And now using that same burr, go right back, and this time you get a great fitting temporary. Now, if this was a veneer temporary, I would have used a finer grit burr, but full crown temporaries, I use that big flame shaped burr. And as you can see, the next step on the video, interproximal contours. This took care of facial and lingual contours. And just to show you how well that temporary fits that was made on that silicone model, this is it put back on the deniform that we actually made the alginate impression of and then made our Mach 2 silicone model and then fabricated the temporary. So I've enjoyed bringing this segment to you. As I said, what's next is carving the interproximal embrasures, huge portion of what makes a temporary look really pretty. I'll look forward to seeing you then.